we have entered in this new era. And this is what I don't know that people fully get. We, we uh, live in uh, a moment. Uh, he predetermines our time and our place. He has chosen all of us to put us in this era. And in this era, there is a divine recovery that God is doing that has never been done to produce recompense from past issues. My uh, whole life is about recovery because my family had a lot and then they lost a lot. And uh, we went through a lot of tragedy. And when I was 18 and God visited me, he said, I can recover all you've lost. Therefore, we have to understand the laws of recovery, the spiritual laws of recovery. We want to get into the laws of multiplication. We want to get into the laws of use, looking at what we have and seeing how to multiply them and bring them into the exploits for our future. So this becomes so important for us as we go forth. But you started this uh, uh, time we're having together by saying this is the double. This year, we have to ha be infused by a double portion anointing because that's the only type of anointing that can cast Jezebel down. Wow. So this year, you also have to know we have a great war with Jezebel. That is a governmental ruling force. That is not somebody in the church trying to control how things go. It is a governmental ruling force that must be brought down for all of us to see. And yet you can't do that without a double portion. We just sent a team up to Mount Carmel. Uh, yesterday, uh, and uh, that team was sent over there because of the elections that's going on in Israel. And they went from the top to the lowest in uh, Israel yesterday to, to decree that that anointing that began on Mount Carmel would not be thwarted at the gate and that we would come into a double portion anointing that could overthrow the structures that are trying to rule us in the future. This year becomes the key year for that. Ben. And in times of war, you've got to have a warrior leader. And without that, you're going to make some missteps. And that's really one of the very keys for the elections that are approaching here. Uh, I think God can work beyond uh, anything that we do. But I also think the word visitation is linked with how we vote. And it becomes very important how we're making a choice over what is going to be happening in America. Remember, I've written three books that uh, actually four that take us through uh, the year 2026. When God visited me in 1986, he showed me in 10 year increments through 2026 that has just played out to a T. And this year becomes the deciding choice year to determine where America is going to end up in four years. And the nations are in this multitude, this valley of decision that's going on, and that means Jehoshaphat's valley. So that means we've got confederations coming against us, and we have to know God has a plan for us for breakthrough. And it, it becomes important for us to know there's new supply routes, but the war over supply this year so intensifies, especially take a nation like Taiwan. They're going to have to understand the warfare that is over them. And you have to remember that, uh, like Paul said, do you not know who's opposing you? See, it's not, it's not about nation versus nation. It's about kingdom versus kingdom. And uh, the enemy is trying to stop the kingdom of God from displaying the spirit of God in a way that the world will awaken to uh, have a new awakening to the spirit of God. And that becomes important. And I also want to go back to that thing. 
let's talk about the double portion. Let's talk about Elisha and Elijah. Let's talk about what I'm seeing, why God is doing things like this broadcast. This is why the Lord had me do it. I, I have spoken many times on the double portion, but one of the word God gave me for this year concerning the alignment of prophets comes from uh, a fee, uh, 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 2 Kings chapter 4, verse uh, 38. Elisha came back to Gilgal during a famine in the land. Well, we're not in real good shape right now. And so this really began to speak to me. The sons of the prophets were sitting before him, and he said to his servant, now this is Elisha, he said, put on the large pot and cook stew for the sons of the prophets. In other words, let's cook a meal for the new prophets that are rising up. And I really believe this is important with the both of us being here. It's one of the reasons I knew I needed to establish a time to be with you. Uh, let's cook a meal for these new prophets that are coming, the sons of the prophets. Then one of them went out into the field to gather herbs and found a wild vine gathered from it and gathered from it a lap full of wild gourds and came and cut them up into the pot of stew, although they did not know what they were. Now, one of the things that the older prophets and those are that have gone before your generation or the generation even uh, after you are going to have to understand, you're, you're not going to be doing everything right. And you might bring in some things that we're not familiar with. You might bring in some things that we don't really even know how to cook with. But that's important for us to put into the pot because there's a point God is going to do with it. So they served it for the men to eat, but as they eat the stew, they cried out, Man of God, there's death in the pot. And they couldn't eat it. But he said, Bring flour. And he threw it into the pot and said, Serve it for the people so that they may eat. Then there was nothing harmful in the pot. Here's what I want to say as we align our generations. There's going to be a lot of mistakes, but God already has the plan on how to deal with those mistakes. He knows that the older generation needs to back off and let things go into the pot that they wouldn't normally put into the pot, and that we need to look at some vegetables that we have never even eaten before, and we're going to have to see if they're good or if they're bad. And once they develop that stew, even if there's some mistakes made, we're going to have to know God already has the flour to purify the pot. And therefore, if we will take this attitude as we go into the season ahead, it will be very easy for us to work together, to eat together, and to walk together.